Hi, Gemini. This is Jeffrey. This is right color. Is this right? I guess so. Uh, this is your three card reading for uh, the week of December 6th through the 13th, 2020. I hope you're well. Um, let's see. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I am offering uh, 30 minute readings for $30. I would like to thank the people who have uh, followed me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is ripe color and it's my art uh, Instagram. I'm a textile artist and it's, uh, you know, all the pretty things I make and the pretty inspiration that inspires me to make more pretty things. Pretty gets pretty. Okay, let's see what the week is about. And away we go. Da -da -da -da. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, we start with the man on the hill, king of the mountain. When I was a kid, we used to, uh, I grew up in New York, so it used to snow more than it, it used to snow a lot. It used to snow every winter, no matter what, we, we always got a couple of good snowstorms. Now, some years we do, some years we don't. But we, I lived on the corner and um, the, the garbage trucks used to have like the, the big shovels attached. And so they would put it all up on the corner so there would be this mountain of snow and ice on the corner and uh, especially when you're little, it's like, it's a mountain, it was Mount Everest. And whoever could get to the top, it was King of the Mountain. That's where we used to play, King of the Mountain. And whoever was on the top had the best, you know, opportunity to stay on top. So that card, this card reminds me of that. Of course, you know, this is what, what we were in the snow, but you know, this is about um, kind of being at it from all angles. This could also be, you know, you have a million creative ideas. I have a million trillion creative ideas um, that are all coming at me at once. Okay, let's move on. Seven is about confidence though. You know, the story does continue and he's in a very good position, right? He's in the top of the mountain. It's defensive though. There's a defensiveness to it. Then we get the lovely six and the six is really about uh giving and receiving you know it could be business um but it, it's charity at the end of the day this is the card of charity but it's also you have to remember that it's never really one-sided it might seem like it's one-sided but him giving through his giving he's receiving and through his receiving he's giving so have to keep that in mind and then we get the lovely high priestess. She's lovely. Isis, keeper of the secrets, secret of creation, secret of the dark and light, secret of the relationship between the dark and the light, tremendous knowledge. So we get a seven. Confidence, perseverance, or choice. Let me throw more cards. Okay. Okay, that became a little clearer. Um if you have an idea and other people are saying, oh, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this, you should do that, I say stick to your guns. I say, you've got the idea. It, you know, your idea is a good idea. It's fertile, it's ready, it's, uh, it's new. Hang on, you know, hang on to the top of the hill. This is interesting. So, like, 
because I was talking about earlier about giving and receiving and da da da, sometimes, most times, a lot of times, uh, all of us as individuals have a tendency to either uh, be uh, uh, gimme, gimme, I need more. Um, or the opposite, which is like giving away everything. Right? So there's no real balance. Um, that has to end. There's got to be a new way to move forward. You know, and so maybe this is what the knowledge is about. The knowledge is about um, maybe I've allowed other people up on the hill. Maybe I'm not trusting my own. Maybe in the past, I haven't really trusted my own guidance and my own ideas, my own creativity. And so therefore, you know, I was allowing everybody in and everybody to influence my decisions, right? Or, you know, making, you know, if you twist yourself into a pretzel to please everybody else, then what you have left is a bunch of all unsatisfied people and the one who's least satisfied is you. <laughs> so I think that that needs to end, you know, because she leaves the past behind. She's all about being clear and focused and moving forward. Instead of being everything to everybody, you know, she stands and sits, well, sits in the truth. And, and the ability to see through everything clearly and say, mm -mm, mm -mm. you know, I told you I wanted this, or I know I want this in this place at, at this time, bah, bah, bah. you know, oh, it's going to be better if you do this, if you do it there, and if you do it at that time, it's like, no, 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 no. There's a decisiveness. And you know, I really do think that the, the um, the hidden knowledge is really to understand you have the top of the hill. You know, you're in the you're at the best vantage point. This is why they built forts on hills, so you could see everyone around coming. And it leads to a new awareness. It leads to a new awareness. That's what this is about, this one. You know, this is about, it's about a new awareness, but it, to me, a lot of times, this is about being reborn. You know, it's about being reborn. And believe me, you could be reborn a million times in your own life. You know, you could be, reborn you know you change your mind about something and you're reborn you know you, you it's as simple as that I, well, I changed my mind uh, about allowing everyone into my creative projects and taking everyone else's um, ideas and um, sometimes the way to win the battle is to walk away from the battle <laughs> it's like i'm not fighting with you I got, I got things to do. I don't have time to fight with you or to prove myself to you. I think there's a real opportunity for freedom. I think that's what's going on. I feel like there's this real opportunity for freedom. That's what I'm getting, which is lovely. I mean, for me personally, to be free 
in my actions and my thoughts and in my day-to-day -day living is there's nothing more important to me. To me, there's nothing more important. It's, it's, it's the ideal that I strive for the most, to be completely and utterly free of uh, outside influences. You know, I do my best work when I'm free. Um, you know, because I, I, we live in a, in a society, I'm going to get all philosophical, but, you know, we live in a society that says, oh, well, you owe something, you know, to this group or this way of thinking or uh, this uh, rule that's put on by society. And it's like, actually, you owe nothing to nobody. Actually, you don't owe anything to anybody. The only one you have to answer to is your own soul and to God. That's it. That's it. And, you know, God and your own soul are, you know, really deeply interconnected. So, you don't really owe anything to anybody. Maybe that's what, you know, I needed to say for me, and maybe that's what I needed to say for you. Um, so let go of the past, move forward uh, clearly with direction, um, and you don't owe anything to anybody, nor does anyone owe anything to you. All right, let's be clear. Uh, because, you know, a lot of times those types of energies and relationships, um, they don't know where the boundary begins and ends. They don't really know where the, the boundary begins and ends. Um, so if you may remain true to yourself, it's the only way forward. I mean, that's really all I have to say. It, it's the only way forward. Remain true to yourself uh, to um, attain, <clears throat> attain freedom. That's what I have to say. There you go. Blessings to you. Uh, if you're one-on-one-on-one, -on -one -on -one, all the information is below. And um, thanks for tuning in. And see you soon.